Sissy upset. Sissy all three. Over a boy. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Sissy, sissy, man. Sissy, sissy, man. Sissy, sissy. Sissy, sissy. Sissy, sissy. Sissy, sissy. Saw sister on the couch from far distance. And I saw her. And then I said, Sister on the couch. Over there. Boy, but I'm on you. I thought that we would come out here to say that even though that it's okay to have a sister and don't feel ashamed to have a sister, you know, like you don't have to be ashamed like I was. I don't think we're gonna put this or in like the I stand. am. <laughs> you know, it's it's okay to always be sad. <laughs> Sister always said, <laughs> "Help me, anybody's help." No, say, say. I'm scared. Sister needs help. We're talking, be sister. I'm scared. And then sister we'll dead. She's dead. <laughs> Sisters reacting to events, things, times of our lives. Story time. The one time, this is what you mean by twin, twin power. power, twin technology, like twin like dreams. Like we're twins, so it's like same dreams. Let's one time. <clears throat> okay, yeah. this is the setting. We're in our house, and we're in the bed sleeping. And my mom and sister. So it's like my mom, sister, and dad, and my other sister. The my other two sisters and my mom were on vacation and my dad was watching us and me and Kylie remember like waking up panicking because no one was home and how we were like, like so old. okay we're probably like we're six or seven <laughs> oh, it's, okay and so we they all went out to the beach whatever they did my dad was watching us and we fell asleep and I woke up to Emma crying like hysterically crying I was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I was a mediator in this because, like, I was a, not older, but, like, I just felt older in the situation because, like, she was crying, little baby. And I was like, what's wrong? She's like, no one's here. Like, at that age, like, you reckon no one's home. It's, like, scary as fuck. We woke up, and we go, my dad had, like, a game room, and we, like, went in his game room and see if, like, he was in there playing video games, and he wasn't. And <laughs> we walked outside and was going to walk to our grandma's house. No, that's, you're, you're skipping ahead. And we got halfway, past, we got all the way down the driveway and tur turned around. You're skipping ahead. No, don't tell the ending. So, when we woke up, I was like, we need to call 911. We called 911. 911 did not answer. Like, what the fuck? I had an underwear on. Like, and then I was like, we gotta go to Grandma Faye's. And we knew where Grandma Faye lived because she lived right across the street. Not really across the street, but around town. No, she lived like the other side of town. five minutes away. But, but we were gonna walk because we knew the direction. It's the only place we knew. So, we walked outside, turned around, my dad's car's in there. Continue. I think that we just, we were so scared that we just, like, closed our eyes and, like, fell asleep. No, no, no. We went to my dad's <laughs> game room, knocked on the door, and we did that before. No one answered. So we're like, did we just go to sleep? Like, is that what happened? No, my dad was like, oh, yeah, we went to sleep. Wake up the next morning. We wake up and our dad's there. And we, so a moral of the story is that we had the same exact dream because we looked back like at the phone calls there was no phone calls my dad said that he was in his room like with us the whole time like and he said that we basically had like the same dream like he literally said that like nothing happened like he was there so we to this day we remember distinctly the stream to this day none of it happened it's just like i don't know i guess because we're twins yeah. like we can't describe it it's like a dream that we both remember like the to the day, like we were like probably like six or seven years old. Mm.